Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Before we get started, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Y'all, if you saw my most recent video, I am camping with friends, Maddie, Rye, and Hobo Joe on the go here at the Robbins Butte BLM in Buckeye, Arizona. We are having so much fun. We've had two gorgeous days of weather. Sunny, a little bit breezy, and warm in the 70s. So it's been awesome weather to catch up with Hobo Joe and Rye. It has been uh, a few months since I've seen Joe and a year since I've seen Rye, so we've had a lot of catching up to do. I'll tell you guys what, my nomad friends are friends for life, and that is part of what makes this lifestyle so special and so much fun. So um, in this video, I will be showing more life at camp, another time lapse because you guys are really digging that content from me. So I appreciate the feedback. Once again, I want to put out what you guys want to see and what's going to be helpful. I'm also going to discuss a few things that I have going on in my van right now that I want to share with you. And, of course, footage of Winston because he's the best boy ever. So, let's dive right in. I am bringing you all another time-lapsed clip. This is in, uh, this is twice speed. I've been doing four times, but this is two times speed. So, I have a really minimalist setup at this camp. So, I didn't have a ton to do this morning just kind of pick up and make my bed. Our chairs were on the other side of my van from the bonfire that we had, so I just needed to fold my blankets, shake everything out, clean my toilet, um, pick up trash, kind of, you know, all that miscellaneous stuff. As you all know, I don't like to get my day started until my bed is made and the inside of my van is clean. So during this time, typically Maddie and I are kind of catching up and Winston is walking around just doing his thing. And I also put out my solar, do things like that if I need to. But the only solar I actually put out today was my Rock Pals. I didn't, I never even took out my Van Power Solar since I was only here for two nights. And my 1500 watt power station will last me several days, even if I use my toaster oven like once a day. So getting everything cleaned up and in tip top shape before I start my day. It's just pretty typical. And I take Winston's ramp down at night and then put it back up in the morning just so I don't trip over it or anything. It's kind of difficult to navigate around sometimes, but that's why I just take it down and in the morning I can clean up my van before I put it back up for the day so he can go in and out of the van as he pleases. I also tend to like wipe down my van with my Swiffer and my fridge and everything. You guys know how I am with my cleaning. I also did finally use a staple gun to attach the drawer liner to Winston's ramp so now it's nice and solid on there and I don't have to mess with the liner because I hadn't attached it yet. I was just kind of laying it on there and folding it under. Now it's nice and secure, so I can just pack it behind my fridge, and it's convenient. It's going to be an awesome day ahead with my friends. I'm very excited to catch up and relax. Did you hide your bone? Wow, look at that dirty face. We're all just hanging out this morning. It's about 10 a.m. The boys are way up there on the hill maddie and oh you can there we go <laughs> maddie and rye talking about man things we were all just catching up this morning gonna be 78 today here do you need me to help you with your eyes oh wow what do you got in your face i gotta clean off your face 
I wanted to get a better view of the boys talking about boy things. Look at them up there. Right now they're talking about tires. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. They're so cute. Rise box truck is, is really, really dope. He actually has a, um, a school bus that he's working on as well. We have some land up in Wisconsin. He's kind of in a nomad transition right now, but he's a very dear friend of mine. I love him to death. Just a really, really good guy. But it's kind of a theme for me. I only surround myself with really good, kind people. So between Rye and Maddie, it's two, two fantastic men right there. And then the best boy ever. How about us? Are you handsome? Are you handsome? I see that tail. Lynn recently sent me this new painting of Vermont. And this is the Vermont sunset that she sent me quite a while ago. So I got that hung up in my van. with All of my special things. You all know how much I, I love my little gadgets. So I decided for this trip, what is that dirt, uh, to switch back to my black toilet just to see, like, do I like this better than my blue one? And honestly, the answer is no. So after this trip, I'm going to switch back to my blue one. But, you know, that's just van life things. Um, I also wanted to give you a glimpse of my curtain from inside. I just hang it up with binder clips and then I can put it down when I use my potty or whatever else. So a side note on my new butane stove, I am still loving it. It was worth the $33. I am so glad that I got it. And honestly, that spot on my shelf is working out perfectly for it. So I am a happy camper, quite literally. I wanted to make a quick note about my new happy box that I got, which I showed you all in a video the other day. I actually, I thought the brand Natural Life sent me this box because it didn't have a note or anything like that. But it's actually from Becky Rawlings, who started off as one of my YouTube subscribers, and she's basically become like my internet auntie. So thank you, Auntie Becky, for my box. I have put up my sticker, my air freshener, and my little clip. Now I'm just trying to decide where I want to put the box itself, and then where I want to put my little keepsake piece of art in my van. So thank you, Auntie Becky. I love you. As you all know, I switched back to my memory foam mattress and got this new super cozy cot sheet and I slept so well last night. So happy to be back to my memory foam mattress, even though I enjoy the Lost Horizon and it is great for temporary camping. I have a clean, cozy memory foam mattress and I'm happy with it. Also, I realized that my cord for my USB light is like always in the way. So I normally just kind of shove it in the side there, but I was like, you know what? There has to be a better solution for this. And there was, I wrapped it up and clipped it to my seatbelt. Works out nicely. Well, there's Rye. What you doing, babe? What is... Oh, yeah, that's so sweet of you. That's sweet of you. So we were sitting at camp, and I'd be like... I, I was like, you know what? It'd be so fun if we traveled with cornhole. Because the weather was so beautiful, and it was sunny and warm. And I was like, man, it'd be so fun to play cornhole. So we made our own cornhole type game. <laughs> we put out Maddie's shower bag <laughs> that we weighed down with two rocks and Winston's mat on the other side. We each filled a clean sock with sand and <laughs> we made our own cornhole game. So basically we were just trying to get our filled sock on the mat on each side and it sounds so lame, but it was so fun. And Maddie ended up winning like every single game. <laughs> so 
we didn't have any crazy rules or anything like that. We were just playing to 10 points each and it was fun. So Maddie and Rye played against each other as well. And it was just nice to, uh, as you can see, we got our steps in. I worked on my tan a little bit. And I mean, look at this guy. It was so beautiful. So Rye was sitting next to us uh, working on fixing a dog toy and kind of giving me crap <laughs> because, uh, you know, I was kind of getting a little bit aggressive with my competitiveness. But he also laughed at me because last year when Rye and I saw each other, we played actual cornhole. And he was like, have you improved from last year? <laughs> so it was just really fun. It was something different. And sometimes when you're in the desert and you're camping and you're looking for stuff to do, you just got to get creative. And it really goes to show that you can get creative and have fun with the most simple things. I mean, a shower bag, a rubber mat, some socks and some dirt. Ah. <laughs> uh simple pleasures, simple fun, but it really made for an amusing afternoon. And like I said, we were working on our tans and getting our steps in. So, and Winston was a really good referee, I have to say. It has been such a fun day with my friends. We had <laughs> a really amusing fun time playing our makeshift game of cornhole Rye headed out this evening, but I enjoyed my 24 hours I got to spend with him. It was fantastic. It's a beautiful evening right now around 5 p.m. The wind's picked up a bit, but it's still warm out, which is awesome. And you know what? I am watching the Super Bowl on my tablet in the van. Technology can be pretty fun. It's going to be rainy and gross the next two days, but I'm headed back to my home base tomorrow for a couple days. So it, it won't be too bad. Winston's not quite ready to come into the van yet, but we still have an hour of sunlight. So I'll let him hang out for a little bit longer. Someone's tired from living his best life. <laughs> it is Monday morning. It's going to be a chilly day today, y'all, but I am headed back to my home base might have some rain tonight, tomorrow. It's going to be cold this week from 78 yesterday to 58 today. So kind of brutal, but it's all good. I think Maddie and I are actually going to head up to Lake Havasu next week. So that should be fun. But in the meantime, I'm going to wrap up this video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.